Real quick, my friends, before we get this video started, you already know what's coming. Shameless plug, actually plugs of the video because this weekend is ultimate call out challenge. Guys, if you've been following along, you guys know we've been thrashing on the 05, trying to put our new engine in. We've actually got a new turbo setup that you guys will see uh, in the next actually upcoming video, which will be in a day or so right before the ultimate call out challenge this weekend. We're still thrashing, we're still in it, guys. So make sure you guys are coming out to the event this weekend in Indiana. Make sure you guys come see us, we will be set up. And and you can get entered to win the first gen that we are giving away at the event. Anything purchased at the event will also get you entered. Uh, but if you guys can't come, make sure you guys are getting entered online, rentworks.com. So online or at any of the next actually upcoming events. So we've got Ultimate Callout Challenge followed by Atlantic City Truck Meet right after that, followed by Coal Motors uh, back in Indiana. So we are going to be doing some traveling the next couple weeks. So make sure you guys look up those events. Make sure you guys come out and spectate uh, and get involved. Actually, get involved. We want more than you guys just to spectate. So Ultimate Call Out Challenge is a perfect example of that. There's plenty of ways to get involved. So Friday night, we're judging the burnout competition. That is going to be absolutely awesome. So make sure you guys get entered in the burnout competition. I know your buddies are going to egg you on at the event, so you might as well get signed up. First, first thing about Ultimate Call Out Challenge, if you guys have not gotten tickets yet and you're coming, get them online. You're gonna save money. 65 bucks at the gates, way cheaper online. Also, you can stack code FIREPUNK on top of that and also save even more money. Friday night, you can do the burnout competition. Friday night, you can also do the no time drag event. ODSS Racing is also gonna be happening, so you can enter in the ODSS Racing classes uh, at UCC. So 770 ET, uh, lots of different bracket racing. You guys can race your truck at Ultimate Callout Challenge through ODSS, so that's awesome. It's, it's worth doing, guys. Uh, I'm telling you, the best way to kind of evolve in the sport and get involved and meet new people is, is get signed up for the little things. Uh, you can actually do a spectator dyno there. It doesn't matter what you do. If you have a diesel truck, you can enter the show and shine. You can do everything there and do more than spectate. That's the best way. Uh, I get a lot of questions all the time about guys like wanting to get more involved in the scene, in the industry, meet new people, just dive deeper in, get involved, start doing some of the events, stop being scared and just do it, boys. Anyway, so there's my plug for Ultimate Callout Challenge. Use code FIREPUNK. Guys, before we get this video started, go to RentTricks.com, grab your entries to win. We also just dropped some new t-shirts on the website. I'll put Dawson, Dawson, put a picture like right up here. We have got a new t-shirt up of our little mishap on the dyno with the 05. We have labeled it 05 Dino might get it you get the you get the dad joke there anyway guys uh we're still gonna send out some random engine pieces in orders from the previous video up until now probably till ucc uh, i still have yet to kind of get that stuff back in my hands but it is going to be going out to random orders and we're going to pick from that time up until ucc pretty much but that t-shirt is up on there it automatically gets you entered to win as well i'm thinking the truck might actually be at the event We've had a lot of vehicle changing and trailers and Peterbilt and who knows what's actually coming, but we're gonna be there in full force. But anyway, let's get on with the video and the new setup on the dually. But just know, stay tuned for an 05 update very soon. You guys are not gonna wanna miss the turbo setup that's going on this thing. Uh, absolutely out of this world. But let's get it rolling, boys. People been wondering, what's up with the dually? Put some wheels on the dually. Where are the wheels for the dually? We're here. We're here for wheels for the dually. At the one and only JTX, baby. Oh yeah. Perfection takes time. I think one of them's in the machine.
Chris was peeking his head out. Oh. I turned the camera on and he ran away. <laughs> I was like, I didn't do that. I just did. What up? Like, you're the cameraman. Ray yeah, no. No? Not me. Yeah. You're good every time you're on camera, though. Sometimes. Sometimes. A couple takes? No. You do Bro, one like, shot? yeah. You doing one All one those shot? shows? We'll walk around. One shot. I'll go one time. You got one, you got one shot. With <laughs> For real, I'll go one time. I'm done, Craig. See ya. <laughs> What's up, man? What's up? How, How are you? you? Hey, good. What's going on, man? Good. You know Greg at all? Oh yeah, Greg. Yeah, we chatted for man. quite a while, you know, like three o'clock in the morning. Yeah, three o'clock. Like How you been? Hey, how are you, man? Doing pretty good. You want to walk around deal? see what we got going on first, and then we'll just do some. Yeah. Then, then you can do whatever after that. Oh yeah. Kind of yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. We need that. Yeah. Furniture manager, programming over here. Oh, guys. Engineers, how you doing? Are all in here. Wow, that's awesome. They're the ones that make the, make the magic happen. Make them look pretty, bro. <laughs> it's like this room for machines. All the blanks set up to go to machines. So when we first started, wall. Yeah. Those machines only. That's what we did. Yeah. About a year. Rip the wall down. Same here. Rip the wall down again. Uh, those three over there, uh, lathe for center cap spikes, two cap machines. All of these got to do the same time. Put a eight in the back. You actually cut two thirds of them on that table. Two of them? Two of them. Damn. I mean, like, what do you guys, you guys always aim to be, like, four weeks out on, like, everything all the time? I was telling him, I was like, man, that's, 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 that's the hard part. Uh, the black and mill. Yeah. Four weeks out on a black and mill? Five to six, really. Okay. Um, just because, simple fact, that wheel's getting cut, going to powder, coming back, getting cut again. Yeah. So, yeah. It sees the machine twice. Yeah. Every time. And then when it goes back, we'll, we'll, we'll go back here, but once it goes back to QC, that's when it gets, that's when it gets wild. That lay, you know, straight from the circle blank. Oh, wow. Two, two operations on the cap. The, the two rows in the back are the first operation. Then those caps in the front, that's the second operation. Then they come here to get milled. The rest of them. Then once everything gets cut, it is, it is brought back here. Inspection, polish, clean up, all that happens here. And then they'll get pushed over here to go over here. And then there's one, two, three, four, five tables here. And then like four tables on that side. So wow. we can have nine guys polishing all wheels at once right here. Wow. Just right there. And then big polish room. Blanks get polished, brushed, everything before they go to machine. But like if you look at the back, there's two big polished machines in the back. Um, one of them's working on the real big machine right now in the corner. But like Big T right there, he's brushing that wheel right now. Uh, so we'll brush the blanks before we cut them. Oh, really? Yeah. And then so we'll I guess go, that way it's just more, way more uniform and yeah. everything. And then I'll we'll go, go back and uh, put a final after it's cut just to, to touch it up, make sure everything's good. Obviously, the machine's going to have chips. Spinning right. around and maybe some, sometimes scratching the wheel. Right, right, right. But that right. final, get that final brush after the cut. Man, that does look like insanely uniform. Yeah, it does. You got a whole blank you're doing on it together. Yeah. Wow. Center cap, spike, floating cap. Caps everywhere. Wow. Um, all our caps, everything goes on every single wheel. Yeah. All dually, a lot of dualies all over here. I just think uh, it's eight lugs, six lugs, custom, all of it. Yeah, crazy. I think it's funny how it's just like what was standard and now what is standard what is here standard is now setting the bar consistently for other for places. everyone else. And yeah. everyone just has yeah. to everyone just has to basically keep up. Let's put then, it that way. But then this too, like Ford, Dodge, and Chevy. Some people say we're crazy for doing three different caps. Uh, on our eight lug, but the way we cut our wheels, we cut down into the wheel, like right. the caps recess into the wheel. Yes. Most of the other forged companies, the cap is bolted on the top of the wheel. All their eight lug caps, identical every eight lug. Um, uh. Chevy, 
You can so, see the relief of the lug nut because the bolt pattern is bigger on a Chevy than a, than a Dodge. So Dodge okay. is eight on six and a half. So, so that relief cuts a little taller up. Wow. And that's the details of some stuff we do that's a little different than everybody else. I didn't even realize that. Yeah. It makes it a little harder on us, but at the end of the day, that's how we wanted wheels. Yeah. Like what, what did we not get when we bought these wheels? What did we not get when we used to buy Ford's wheels? Yes. Stuff like this. Yeah, the, you, the, the, the little minor details that you pay for it anyways. You're paying thousands and thousands of dollars for a set of wheels. Yeah. I, I shouldn't have a big ass plastic cap on a wheel that costs $10. <laughs> on a fifteen thousand dollar set of wheels, right? Give me something. That, yeah, that's correct. The wall. Yeah. The wall and video. Yeah, I love that wall. That wall. But everything comes back here. Final inspection. They look over every single wheel um, before they get boxed. So they're looked over, wrapped, boxed, and then go out to chip after that. So every single wheel gets touched multiple times as it goes through the facility to make sure it is correct. Yeah. Texas and back, right? I love how we're just classifying a 12 hour one way trip as just a little quick trip. So Wednesday night, we boogied down to Texas uh, to JTX. You guys know that we have been kind of pretty much switching the entire fleet from a lot of mismatched wheels. We're running all JTX on everything now. So we've kind of bartered, swapped, traded, sold uh, all of our other wheels the whole entire fleet, I think, pretty much, uh, besides one truck, is on a different wheel company besides JTX. We have just become tight with the guys over at JTX. Uh, I firmly believe that they are the leader in uh, wheels right now when it comes to quality finishes, uh, just quality of people, quality of company uh, across the board. So super pumped to be on all JTXs. So went down to JTX. We had ordered these wheels quite some time ago for the dually uh, and two other sets. We've, as, as you guys know, we've kind of get, been getting prepped for Ultimate Callout Challenge, getting everything freshened up. Uh, so we've got three sets of JTX wheels, which I am super excited. 14 wheels, the guys over at Dirty Diesels uh, got us hooked up with tires and the triangle of perfection here we're headed to our buddies uh, locally in kentucky spartan garage to have them mount everything up so i'm hoping that we can we're a day late on this entire plan but i'm hoping that they can knock all this stuff out today we can have it for the weekend and by the end of this video we can have a new setup on the dually you guys really I don't know what it is with the dually wheel and tire setups, but you guys really seem to kind of uh, be interested in those. Like our first set that we got from 
the guys over at Dirty Diesels way back in the day, the 22s and the Terra Grapplers. Then we went to the Super Singles uh, on 35s. And in my opinion, this setup is going to be going to be killer going to be killer i'm really excited for you guys to see it um and by the end of this video they should be on the dually so ultimate ultimate tow rig uh new wheel and tire setup coming at you but that's kind of the gist of the background of the traveling going to jtx um and uh you probably saw a sneak peek in there too we uh we did grab a new diamond c trailer should match uh, a PXR truck very very well we're back we still haven't slept me and Dawson been taking like two three hour shifts so we haven't really slept in like two days and about to head into the third day no sleep team no sleep for ultimate call out challenge but whoop, whoop. Spartan Garage is going to take care of us on getting them mounted up uh, if you guys need JTX wheels uh, they are a JTX dealer so if you guys are interested in the best of the best wheels for your ride and you're looking for uh, a JTX dealer uh, these guys are pretty much local right here Bowling Green Kentucky uh, they are a JTX dealer so hit them up uh, a bunch of awesome dudes we haven't lost any tires yet that's a good sign that is a good, great yeah, sign because I, I barely strapped those suckers down but they'll, they'll ride Buddy. did you say she ain't going nowhere I think I did I didn't hear it Shit. All right, get out at the traffic light and say it. Right. Oh, she definitely could be going somewhere. Now she ain't going nowhere. One was loose. You say you say now she ain't going nowhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See. That's what happens if you don't say it. It's just it's not gonna it's not gonna stay put. Yeah. You'd be actually shocked at the amount of things that will ride on a trailer unstrapped. That is very true. I've had some allegedly had some things happen, and you get there, you're like, how did that even stay there? It's you know I don't I can't explain it. Good thing we got this trailer though, because I don't know how else we'd be getting 14 wheels and tires. I'm gonna have to pull one of the dually wheels down. It's about this cut right here. You like that? It's about this cut. It's quality. Because if you do just if you do just this cut, you get a little lost in the sauce. But when you got it on the face a little bit, that's where it's at. That's where it's at, boys. That's the secret right there, in my opinion. That's what give you that splat. It's the splat. This <laughs> that's Two, four, 24s. Uh, bad, but bad girls. Well, <clears throat> almost going off to say 28. Huh? What? Nobody wants to hear about your 28s, bro. <laughs> cool. Take care of it. We're good or done. I'll uh, I'll shoot you a text whenever we're about to get rolling on them. Then. So okay. Everybody, y'all got some time to get over here. Yeah. Cool. And that way, y'all aren't stuck waiting around too yeah falling asleep <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah we're gonna try and if it, i mean if you if you think it's gonna be i would like, play an afternoon so if y'all want to get a few yeah hours, that's what we're thinking that's what i was yeah. like you know what why don't you go home crash a couple hours come back yeah perfect dawson's like i appreciate that <laughs> right. that'll give me a little time to go up front and get stuff caught up and i'll probably just come back here today and help them so we can get ahead and then get okay. something cool else, sweet so. all right greatly greatly appreciate it absolutely man all right man absolutely. sweet thank you yeah anytime. all right we'll see you soon see you i'll hit you up cool Right. Yes. 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 Right. Uh, Seriously. <laughs> Let's roll. Let's roll. What are these for? What? What are these for? Sir. Those what? wouldn't match the Would dually they? wheels. Are you sure? For the toy hauler. No. Wait, have no. they seen the toy hauler all black? When's that no. video going up? 
Good thing Cam got these gloss black. What? And they kind of match the design of the. You got. We wouldn't do it. We would do that. No. We're not. We're, we're that. Not, we're that nasty. We're not that guy, pal. Oh, we're that guy. The shop home base we have got a little bit of sleep in us uh, but huge huge thank you to everyone involved we have got the dualies new setup back home right in front of us and we are gonna be slapping these bad boys on so again took a trip to JTX never have been there in person talked with our man Chris uh, he is the man there at JTX kind of took a quick facility tour kind of where they started from JTX in my opinion again uh, I believe and this is my personal opinion as far as all the details go that they put in, uh, they really truly uh, are top notch and at the top of the forged wheel game with all of the details that they put into it. They're simply just not okay with a set standard, which always kind of like Diamond C, and it's funny that they're in the same stop and they're in Texas together, uh, but they both just pride themselves on not accepting the norm, and I find that insanely cool uh, and, and really awesome to be a part of people who uh, are just constantly pushing the uh, industry that they are in, and JTX really is, is doing that in the wheel game. So here is the setup. Let's get into it. We're going to slap these things on here because I know you guys just want to see them on the truck, but again, if you guys want to go check out some JTX wheels, uh, pretty much everything here is getting JTX it's just because I love them. I love the wheels, I love the designs, the machine work, they're clean, the finishes are awesome. So we're swapping everything to JTX around here. But huge thank you again to JTX, Diamond. As you can see, we picked up a new Diamond. Um, and the guys at the Spartan Garage. They are a dealer. Go check them out. Huge thank you to them for really squeezing us in to get all of our sets mounted and balanced. So you guys can get JTX through them. You guys will see the other two sets coming up at Ultimate Callout Challenge. But 24 inch. This design is called Monarch. It is black and machined, so we've got the whole contrast cut going on. And one thing that I really, really love on some specific designs is, again, I pointed it out, it's this edge that gets machined really breaks up the face of this wheel just from being completely gloss black. I love, I do love all gloss black wheels, but you do lose a lot of the wheel uh, design and detail when you go all gloss black with nothing to contrast against it. So 24 inch, we went back to a normal dually front. No more super singles in the front, dually front, dually back. These are quite a bit bigger of a tire. We had 35s previously. This is a 37, 1350, 24 Nitto Ridge Grappler. Basically the same setup that Michael has on his 450 and Michael's 450, in my opinion, looks insanely tough. So I'm excited. Let's get to work. Let's get these bad boys on. Would you just look at it? Would you just look at it? 
goodness gracious, what a beefy unit. Like I said, back to normal dually wheels in the front, 24 inch wheels, 37, 13, 50s. Uh, I did check tire turning clearance when it was still up on the jacks. Uh, it does look like it's gonna get just a real bit close to here. I can trim all that, which I think we're gonna do. I mean, the other setups have been like self trimming that area to begin with. Front is completely fine. And it clears just no uh, articulation in the, in the suspension, uh, but we're just probably gonna trim a little bit later on uh, just to make sure that we're good at turning the toy hauler, all that stuff. But as of right now, still turns a million times better than the super single fronts. But the look is absolutely killer. Got the machine going. We actually have chrome caps on this setup because the way the rear is set up, there's not enough threads showing to do spin on caps, but I honestly think the chrome really, really looks good. It kind of matches the uh, machined look. Kind of a mixture of all black and a little class. So kind of similar to the 18 crew cab over here, but it is looking good. It is looking stacked. Got some space in between the leafs in the back, in between the inner and the leaf pack, and then some space in between here, which is what we want. So we're good to go. 1350 is looking like just like a whole, like a whole lot of thickness going on here. So we got some gap. We'll go ahead and still check it when we get some load on it, but according to what we have on Michael's setup, uh, we didn't really need to do any spacers, and that space is actually a little bit more than uh, the 450, so we should be good even loaded down. It nailed it, and the dually is finally back on some gangster wheels. Mm, looking good. All right, we're ready to, ready to hook up the toy hauler. Got everything torqued down. I'm so happy. She looks, she looks like a whole unit again. Grandpa, grandpa mode delete. All right guys, that is pretty much gonna wrap up this video. Make sure you guys are at Ultimate Call Out Challenge. This weekend will be set up, like I said, anything that you purchase at the Ultimate Call Out Challenge at the Wrenchworks booth automatically still counts you towards the first gen giveaway. So if you're not gonna make it, make sure you go to wrenchworks.com, get entered in the first gen giveaway. If you are going, grab some stuff at the booth, that'll get you entered as well. You don't have long, only a couple weeks left. First gen's going to one of you guys, sitting out there soaking up some sun. Dually wheels are looking fresh. And we'll see you guys in the next video or at Ultimate Call It Challenge this weekend. We'll hit you with an 05 update here in the next day or so right before the event starts. We'll see you.